over the team, but you know, for yourself to, to score 50 in your first game for the White Ferns, how did that feel out there and what does that mean to you? Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best result today, but um, for me it was really helpful having that warm-up game down in Queenstown against um, the England bowling attack, so personally for me it was just building from there and wasn't too many surprises for me up there, which I think really helped, but it's kind of, it's been a kind of a weird day and very surreal. Um, you kind of like, just think it's like another, kind of just like another match until you hear someone say the Kiwis and you're like, ah. <laughs> and then, yeah, but no, it's been really good. Yeah, um, just how you know, much confidence did you get from the innings down there? Obviously doing well against um, England and sort of bringing that today. Like, did you sort of feel a lot more prepared? Um, Brunt hit me in the head um, in Queenstown, so wouldn't say completely, but I've worked a bit in the nets with um, Rob and Bob the last few days on the short ball, and so I'd say in certain parts felt prepared, but yeah, the bouncer probably not, but I played it twice today quite well, so yeah. I'm pretty stoked. And, and tell us, what, what was it like for you when you came out to the wicket? Obviously the team lost quite a few wickets, not too many runs on the board. What was sort of your mentality sort of coming out to the wicket? Um, mentality was probably just I have so much time and I didn't really have to um, rush into anything um, which was a bit different to Queenstown because Queenstown I kind of went to T20 mode but today I just kind of play straight and get myself in and then go from there. Is that sort of the stuff you train with 50 on debut? You know it's been a while to sort of get in there and you've obviously done well for the spirit to, yeah. to make a debut and get 50 despite the result you'll look back pretty fondly on the state? Yeah yeah I think it's been a really good day and if someone told me this morning I'll score 50 um, yeah pretty happy. What was it like to bat on out there? It sort of looked like, you know, um, it was a little bit tricky early on, but, you know, yourself and Hayley sort of showed, like, once you got in and, you know, it wasn't a, it was an okay wicket to bat on. Like, how did you find it out there? I didn't find it too bad at all. Um, maybe, like, a bit of a steep bounce, but other than that, like, there was no real movement or anything. So if you just held your shape and went through the shot and waited for it, it was, yeah, I didn't think it was too bad at all. And, uh, Fran, just tell us, um, before the game, obviously, finding out you were making your white friends debut, what sort of emotions were going through your mind and what was it like and how did it all sort of happen? Yeah, it was it was a bit overwhelming, like obviously really excited. Um, I didn't really know that I was playing for a while and I, I had to go over to Bob and double check because he hadn't really told me directly that I was playing, but yeah, it was really exciting. And what, what were the nerves like for you? I mean, you're only 16 years old, um, you know, it's a, a massive occasion. Um, what was it like for you with some nerves before you sort of took the field? and? What was it like? Yeah, definitely, definitely nerves there, and especially when I went out to bat, because I, I haven't batted in a while, like in an actual game, so on debut it was a bit nerve-wracking, but it went all right, and then when I was bowling my first over I was a bit nervous, but kind of fell into place, I guess. Yeah, do you have to sort of pinch yourself a bit when you're 16 years old, your <laughs> classmates are you know, back at secondary school today, and here you are playing at Hagley against you know, the reigning world champions, I mean, that's, that's pretty surreal stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah, definitely surreal. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what improvements will you take? I mean, obviously you've got a taste of international cricket now. You've, you've bowled against a very good England team. You know, two experienced bats, uh, batters, and you know, um, what, what learning can we take forward to Dunedin? I think um, my line was a bit varied today, so I think I'll just try steady that up and yeah, see how it goes. One from me, Freno. Was it nice when you went out to bat? You obviously had a few things to consume your mind with uh, you, plenty of voters to deal with and then Brooke was closing in on a milestone so did that help with sort of taking your mind off the whole thing that you're out there for the white burn? Oh yeah definitely when Brooke was on 49 I was out there and I was like gotta keep this one out <laughs> hopefully but yeah it all yeah it all worked out I guess got a 50 which was good. Fantastic. Question sort of for the two of you we saw <coughs> earlier today when you received your caps in the, in the team huddle I think uh, there was a message from Amy and, and I think it might have been Maddie for you Fran um, what was it that was sort of said to you maybe a little gently that you might look back on in 10, 15 years time and start with you, Fran? Um, well, me and Maddie played at the same club um, in Auckland, so she kind of was talking about that and just, yeah, talking about how, like, deserve the opportunity and stuff, which was nice. And then she had a message from my parents, which was cute. <laughs> Nearly got a bit emotional. <laughs> yeah. Give us an insight into what that was? Or? Oh, it was just, like, proud of you, you know, all that jazz. <laughs> Um, I can't really remember what Amy <laughs> said. It was something to do with um, being another lefty, which I think is pretty big at the moment when there's only two in the domestic scene, I think. And just basically trusting um, myself and, you know, I deserve to be here and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it was pretty good. And when you were both lined up here on the anthem and was playing, was there anything you sort of reflected on or thought about at that point? I just saw Fran's mum crying and that was all that was going through my head. So other than that, it was just, yeah, kind of surreal moment because that's when you're, you know, you're standing in front of your family 
this international anthem wearing black. So yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, definitely really surreal.